Hey there, fellow gamers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of emulation, with a spotlight on the latest buzz in the gaming community, Lime, the new Nintendo 3DS emulator rising from the ashes of Citra. If you've been following the emulation scene, you know that Citra used to reign supreme as the go-to emulator for playing Nintendo 3DS games on PC. But as fate would have it, Nintendo dealt a heavy blow when they shut down Yuzu, the project Citra's team was also involved in. However, from the embers of Citra emerges Lime, promising a fresh take on 3DS emulation. Let's delve deeper into what Lime brings to the table. So what exactly is Lime? According to its description, Lime proudly wears the crown of being the world's most popular open-source Nintendo 3DS emulator. Crafted with portability in mind, Lime is written in C++, making it compatible across various platforms including Windows, Linux, Android, and Mac OS. Yes, you heard it right! You can transform your mobile device into a full-fledged 3DS console. Now, if you're wondering about game compatibility, Lime is essentially a fork of Citra. This means it inherits all the games that were compatible with Citra, along with any lingering issues from its predecessor. Think of Lime as the Suyu to Yuzu. And the best part? You can download Lime right now, straight from its GitHub page. But wait, there's more. In related news, Citra Enhanced is getting a makeover with a fresh new name, Lemonade. With Lime and Lemonade hitting the scene, it's hard not to notice the similarities. Is there a connection between Gamer64 and Ryzen Dew? Only time will tell. As Gamer64 hinted, the first release of Lemonade might take a while, so keep your eyes peeled for updates. Let's explore the interface of Lime 3DS emulator and see what it's offer, so follow the video of Bummers. And there you have it, folks. A new era of 3DS emulation is upon us, with Lime leading the charge and Lemonade not far behind. It's an exciting time for gamers, but it also raises questions about Nintendo's stance on emulation. Will they continue their crackdown, or will they reconsider their approach? Only time will tell. But for now, let's celebrate the ingenuity of emulation communities and their relentless pursuit of preserving gaming history. And who knows? With Lime and Lemonade on the horizon, we might just be witnessing the next evolution of gaming emulation. Outro music. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more gaming content. Until next time, keep on gaming and stay awesome. <laughs>
Woo! <laughs>